Started. We bought this almost two years ago from Auric. We have never used it. It's been sitting in our garage collecting dust. And um, just like the um, floor pad right here, it looks dirty. It's been washed, but we wasted paint on it and it's been sitting in the garage, so it's not dirty, y'all. But yeah, we're going to try to see what we can do. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is put the pad on. So you don't get a really good view of how you're doing it, but basically you're just setting the pad right underneath the orbiter and just letting the machine sit on top of the pad. Then we're going to use some wood floor cleaner. We bought this at the same time that we bought the orbiter from Auric. It's safe on wood floors. And so now we're going to start in the hallway. I told Michelle to start in the hallway because, you know, in case we don't really know what we're doing, that we don't mess up like floors that we see a whole lot. And we don't really go in the back hallway too, too much. And the lights aren't on too much back here. Also, you guys, yes, we know that she is going backwards with the machine. We know that she should not be walking on top of what she just buffed out. But since we were recording this way, this is what she ended up doing. We got it right by the time we made it into our dining room area. So if you take a look at the floors right now, you can see with the spray that she was using, it dries really quickly, but it's just assisting with getting some of that down, uh, the, the grease that's down in the wood floors, getting that up. I'm nervous to see what my floors look like after this. I'm doing the whole house. I'm doing the whole house. So we got to move furniture and everything. Now I just do where we walk at. We don't have to do all that other stuff. So babe is just really taking her time with going through the hallway. She just wants to make sure she's doing a really good job and getting up as much of that extra stuff as she possibly can. The good thing about the Auric is that the pad on it, it makes it really convenient for you to get really close to the baseboards so that you can get that part of the floor clean too. From the hallway, she makes her way into the kitchen. And again, I already said she's going backwards. She's walking on top of the part that she buffed. And I don't know why she's doing that. She knows that she should be going backwards. But I don't know. From it being the first time using the machine, you know, we're just doing things half-assed backwards right now. But she, she knew what she needed to be doing. But for the sake of recording, this is how it came out. And she's just making sure to spray the floor with the wood floor cleaner because what's on the pad dries pretty quickly and the floors dry pretty fast. So she's just making sure that she's getting everything over by the sink and you don't see the part where she goes by the stove but really making sure she gets really well over by the stove because you know when you're cooking some of the grease um, residue will get on the floor and that's some stuff that the mop just won't get up. Even if your floors are clean, those are the things that seep into the wood and you just really need to give it that extra, extra cleaning with like the Auric Orbiter like we're using here. So I didn't show you guys what our floors looked like before we started recording. If you look at them, they actually really don't look bad. And I don't think that the Orbiter is going to make them look so much more differently than what they do right now. We keep a relatively clean house. This is just really to get in deep and to maybe get some stains up that, you know, aren't really so visible to the eye and everything like that. We're going to get a little bit better by the door because that's the main entryway. You know, a lot of traction comes in right there. So we're focusing on that. But if you can see, our floors really aren't that bad but this is what they are this is the condition that they're in right now all right so she's moving into our I don't know what you call this our gangway I guess I don't know it's another hallway area from the kitchen into our living room and it bypasses our dining room and our master bedroom and so now you guys you guys have seen enough of her going forward so you're going to get a little of her derriere right here as she buffs the right way on the floors and again she's making sure that she's spraying the floor a little bit more as she goes because she doesn't want to um, not have the floors as clean as possible. And one thing that surprises me about the machine is that it's really not as loud as I anticipated it being. I mean actually it's a lot softer and quieter than our vacuum cleaner at least. Alright guys, so here you see Babe is finishing up the rest of the house. 
The part that we didn't record, she actually goes from here into our dining room back over into our hallway where we first started and then going back into the library back there. We didn't record that. We figured you guys saw enough of what we were doing and you get the gist of how we're buffing the floors. Easy peasy, so easy that two chicks can get it done with no problem. So that is pretty much it for this video. We're just going to let you guys see the rest of this buff job and yeah, that's it. But in the meantime, while you're watching her finish up our floors, we want to say thank you guys for stopping into our channel and watching this video. Give us a thumbs up, leave us some comments below, and also make sure that you're subscribing to our channel for more videos like these. We didn't do like a major buff job. We wasn't finna move furniture or anything like that. And on top of that, this was the first time using the machine. So we just really wanted to see what it was going to do. Now, if you look at our floors, you know... They, you probably don't even notice the difference in them. You probably don't. They feel you don't notice the difference, but we're walking barefoot right now, and the difference on the floor, the way it feels, it feels really good. Um, when I mop the floor, it feels really good on my bare feet. But this is even more. This is even more different than when I mop the floor. I don't know. It's like smooth. It don't feel like a. Like if I skeet across the floor with bare feet, I'm gonna get a splinter. Feel like the floor um, the bath. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm happy we got that done. We we haven't done that since we moved into the house two years ago. So um, we got that out of the way, and I'm happy about that. Happy about that. So you want to see the pad? Yeah, I do want to look at the pad real quick. Um, I just want to see. Now, don't judge me, y'all. I hadn't. I did not mop my floor before she started doing the um, buffing, so the pad might be dirtier than I expected it to be. But we're gonna show y'all the pad. Y'all saw what it looked like before it went on. Let's show show you what it looks like back after it went on. Well, you know what, guys? That's not terribly bad. I mean, you know, in my opinion, that's not filthy. That's just like regular, everyday stuff. It ain't blacky black. Ooh, I'm so proud of myself. You know what that means? That just made me feel real good. Like. Bitch, you ain't as dirty as you thought. <laughs> anyway, you guys, let me go and get some work done. Let me edit this video so y'all can see it. And um, I'll check back in with y'all later. Bye-bye.